Okay, so this is an elderly patient with post coli pain, dilated bile duct, and I believe normal LFTs. Perfect case for EUS. Je l'ai senti le tube dans la bouche. Respirez bien. Voilà, so just a little tip down to pull it in the back of the throat. Penche la tête vers l'avant, avalé un petit coup. Okay, encore un petit coup. Avalé, voilà. Encore un petit peu là. There we go. Okay, merci. Essayez de dormir maintenant si possible, okay? Okay, so here we go into the, there's the liver torquing. There she can see she's got a huge bile duct here. There's the portal vein, there's the bile duct. She has a sort of prominent but smooth pancreatic duct out to the tail. Let's see if we can follow this bile duct down to the papilla here. Uh, so it's going down here. Just work on it all the way. It's going, we're getting <coughs> pretty far down, it looks okay. We'll measure this here. And just quickly also, I don't know if she has intrahepatic dilation. So if she does, it's not uh, major anyway. So we'll go into the bulb. Okay. There we go. Pyloris is there into the bulb. There we go. You want to look endoscopically at the apex, <coughs> right about there. I'm way far down. Very short bulb, so right about here. So I'm looking for the portal vein. Okay. There's a huge bile duct. Okay, so there's her portal vein uh, here. Up into the, going, getting deep into the hilum. Then I'm going to torque right. And there's the bile duct, bile duct and the pancreatic duct coming down, down, down to the papilla, following it back up to the hilum. See how much torquing I'm doing on the left here? Very good. Okay, so that's good. Nothing special. We're going to go underneath, hopefully get a look at her papilla as well, which is, as I say, uh, sometimes not easy with this oblique viewing scope. But the bottom line is if she has normal LFTs, I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but her papilla is going to be under there somewhere. And it's, there's no obvious major mass or anything, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time looking at that. And there's her bile duct and PD coming out of the papilla. Okay. And that looks good. So there's nothing right at the papilla anyway. You have to make sure that you can see them right up to the wall. If you ever, if you can't, if you, if you can't follow the bile duct right to the, to the wall, then you, then you have to look for a lesion in between the bottom and the wall. But in her, I can get it right down to the wall. So I think we're okay as far as that goes. Okay, so I, I would really like to look at her papilla, but it's not gonna happen, I don't think. I could take a biopsy forceps. It's gonna be just under here. It's just kinda under there, we're okay. Okay, and, and her papilla looks essentially normal on the ultrasound, but you can't really distinguish a big papilla from a, from a tumor or anything, but it looks, really, it looks really good. There's nothing special here. I think we've covered this one here. I'll just take a quick look at the mediastinum on the way out. Nothing special. Voila, nothing special. Okay, see you